Hey guys, this is Hashim and welcome back. So today I'm gonna be showing you something which you already would know because of the thumbnail and title. So today we're gonna make a bracelet. And these bracelets are today's trend, so no need to worry. So um this needs two types of things which is dangerous and safe. So all the safe uh, things are in this box I got all the safe things. So it is um this is kinda not safe, but this is <laughs> for me. Because you know I'm a big girl. So this is basically a copper wire. You can actually take any wire. And I actually took the took this wire and why we need this is gonna be shown for you. So oh wait until we show so let's just leave. I'm going to make my own one. So now we have some, you know, what is this? This is like an OX by chain, but I don't really remember what type of it is. So it is just an OX by chain according to me right now. So it's in golden color. You can also take it in silver color, but it's like your wish. But since I took it in this golden color, I have pink pom-poms to match it. So I have pink pom poms, which is absolutely like match for this. So if you can actually get this in any stationery shop, because I also got this in stationery shop, not in um any fancy store or anything. And I got this as well. This in the stationery shop and the copper wire. Actually, I got it in some mechanical crap, which I don't, I really know, but I got it with a. a a long time ago I got it, so I really don't have to know. So now the thing is that you have to be careful with. So one thing I have is hot glue gun. Basically this is for sticking everything, but you can also use any other super glue type to only make uh, the compounds and the OX by chain stick. So maybe you can take anything sticking to that, but any baby call won't really work. So I am not recommending that for sticking, so this is like already on, which is already going on. Anyways, and the other thing is cutting planes, because we need to cut the wire and the OXY chain according to the size we need, so that's why we have this as well. So that's why we have these also. So let's get started. So now all we need to cut the chain according to the size we need. I actually took a little bit longer size, but I already cut half of it, so you don't know. Now we're gonna take the size. And the other thing, if uh, you don't have it, you can also use this thing for using it. But all I'm just making with this, which you can also see from this video. So now just taking the size. Once you try to take the size, make sure you take it a little, you know, loose for your hand, cause. That's the trend, a little loose and a little tight. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I'll show you. So after I measured it, I'm just cutting it out with the cutting player. Oh, ow. Oh yeah, it got cut. So this is not the piece we're gonna be using. This is the piece we're gonna be using. So maybe you can see that this is not my size, but the fact is that it's kinda loose for me which is going to be the perfect trend loose, right? So that it should be loose. The next part is to stick these. So now I got the chain over here. And now we just um, need to put some, take some pom-poms and make sure that where you want to put it, just get a plan about that. So I'm going to put it here and then, oh my God, okay. And then here, and then here. Yeah, that's perfect. And maybe one pop one can actually spare. Yeah. That is good. Woo! So the fact is you can also take the color of pom pom that you really want. It's like not that only this color or that color. So now I got this over here and then now the fact is to stick the pom pom to the chain. Let's do it. Do 
just need to cut out the excess glue just just coming out. Just after a little dries. After it dries a little, the glue and then you can easily press it down. So it won't really feel hot, but it's starting it was out for me. <laughs> so now after you put one over here, then you just need to leave the gap and where you plan to put the pom poms. That's where you're gonna put. You can also mark it, but the thing is that how can the marks be seen in the OVEX Y chain? So then you can easily take it out. Just cut off the excess thing like this. Actually, maybe let's see if those excess glue can be cut off by cutting for you. I think maybe no. We need something sharper. Stronger. So now just repeat the same step. I'll see you after I'm done. So I am totally done with the base thing. So now the last step is to make a connection between these. So that's why I'm going to be uh, using this. So I'm going to be cutting it and then making a thing which I could just connect these two <laughs> together. I'll show you first. You need to cut this according to the size you need. So just need to straighten this first because it's like not straightened. And then cut some of the size like this. Ooh. Sorry for the background noises. And now just try to make them like that. Woo! Now just it looks like something so different but then now you just kind of need a little space i'm taking it again so now I take that space and put it into one hole like that see if that is there and then put it like that so yeah so then the other hole on the other side And I just need to connect it together. After connect it tightly, cut off the excess um, wire. Just need to cut it off. Oh my god. Uh, just try to make it a little tiny because that then it will just not be seen because it's copper and this uh, golden color is different so you know you will see the difference so make sure you don't want to see that yay perfect but now we got the bracelet which you just need to slip it on your hand whoa look at it so this is an easy and creative bracelet which you can also try. So see you later if you like this. Make sure you like it and subscribe if you want to and press that bell notification so that you will get notified. See you later. Bye.